Hi my stitchy friends, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my 23rd floss tube video coming from my kitchen this time um, yeah, welcome to any returning viewers and new viewers um, really appreciate you watching, so thank you um, yeah, what have I to say this time? Um, for live update, not so much. It's been, yeah, it's been a little bit hectic, as I mentioned in my previous video with my 16 year old and I'm not getting into it, but it's been hectic and now we have some peace and quiet again. So yeah, um, yeah. And I have been working on my whips and have been working at my work and that's that. No new things here. So um, I'm going to show you my whips and uh, one purchase, not so much purchase, but I will let you know. And my cat is hanging at my door. <laughs> let me in. But she's just, she just went out, outside. My youngest cat is crazy. She wants to go outside and then she wants to come inside after two minutes. And then she wants to go outside after two minutes. So she will have to wait. Um, yeah, let's get on with the whips. First, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee because I need it. And it's a little bit hot. Uh, my first whip I'm going to show you is my Snow Queen by Mirabilia. And when it's finished, it's supposed to look like this. And here's the picture before. And what have I done lately? I've done a little bit on this and I love working with the silks uh, that were in the kit. It was a kit I bought it from Etsy from a company in the USA. And yeah, I totally love it. And I can't wait. I'm my plans are to um, stitch on this on the tenth of every month, uh, at least, because it's my birth date. So and I started it on my birthday. So yeah, this is it. And I'm still uh, contemplating on uh, going to the reindeer or going to the dress, I'm not sure yet. So we will see next time I'm, I'm going to work on this, where we're heading. So that's that. My next um, whip is, and I don't have a picture of not with me, it's upstairs, uh, of how it looks like when it's finished, uh, but you've all seen it and I think I'm probably the last one finishing this one, but I hope to finish it before Christmas. Uh, so I have a little while. Um, it's my uh, Tis the Season, which is a stitch along. And here's a picture before. And this is where I'm at now. It's still in my off-brand snap and I am still loving every minute minute of it I'm using as I mentioned before 32 count uh, subtle dotted uh, natural linen and I don't know the brand so I don't know where you can get this it was a sample piece from my LNS and yeah it was big enough for this one and I'm using not the called for threads, I'm using hand dyed uh, 
Paradijsgare, which is hand dyed cottons by our LNS owner. And yeah, I am loving these colors. So that's that one, and I am working on this one every weekend, um, especially on Sundays. Um, my next whip was a long time no see. It was a long time ago, it was a stitch along, but um, I haven't been working on it because I haven't been working on it. It's, and excuse the poor print, but it was a PDF and I printed it out and my printer has given me headaches. It's a uh, home for the holiday, is it home? No, all hearts come home for Christmas, which is by Sub Rosa Design. And it isn't pink. It is in this picture, but it isn't. So <laughs> it's this one. Here's the picture before. to put something behind it so you can see what I've done and this is my progress on it I finished the square part of the house and the windows almost I need to finish three windows and here is supposed to be a wreath 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 above the door and it's supposed to be a green wreath with uh, red dots but I'm going to use silver beads to give it something else yeah I'm loving this it's just a 32 count light gray linen don't know which one this is and I'm just using DMC's and the red is DMC 115 And then the next whip is my Prairie Life Sampler uh, from Heartstring Sampery. And I am stitching this with uh, Angie from the Hibernation Stitcher. We are working on this one every seventh of every month. And um, yeah, I haven't done much, but so doesn't Angie. <laughs> so this is how it looks like when it's finished. But I guess you've seen it before. And here's a before picture. And this is where I'm at right now. I finished this tree and um, starting this one. I hope you can maybe I hope you can see it. I am working on a hand dyed um, 30 count cheesecloth. I hand dyed it with coffee and tea. And I'm using uh, DMC's and Victorian Mottos, uh, which I substituted. So, yeah, I'm liking it. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting back at this one. And my next one is a bit of a finish. Not really a finish, but a little bit of a finish. It's this one. <clears throat> it's Little Red Barn. First part of the Farmhouse Christmas series by Little House Needleworks. I'm always um, confused with Country Cottage Needleworks. But this is Little House Needleworks and it's the first part of Farmhouse Christmas. And yeah, I finished this part and I am still contemplating on... I planned on uh, stitching this one on one big piece of fabric, um, all the nine parts. But um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to make some Christmas ornaments as well. so. I'm not sure if I am going to cut it up and make it into ornaments or do it in one big piece and yeah, 
not sure but I finished this part so here's a picture before <clears throat> and this is my finish I love these colors and I love working with this classic color works floss yeah really enjoy this see if I can take you a little bit up close yeah this is I love it and I hope YouTube does make this into a thumbnail so <laughs> yeah loving it then my next whip is uh, Mirabilia circle of friends which I uh, bought at our uh, first Dutch uh, stitching retreat last March and I started it when did I start this not sure anymore it's in my X-Stitch app so I will have to look it up um, I started it uh, to commemorate every stitcher I know and every uh, yeah really this, the cross stitch community uh, but recently I found out that these three ladies really res resemble me and my sisters so it's both it's the, the cross stitch community and it's the the stitchy friends we all have which I remember with this one but it's also my sisters so yeah Here's a picture before. And this is where I'm at now. This is the middle lady, which really resembles me. And I am starting, I finished the skin part of her back and her face and I am stitching the hair. And yeah, really love it. And then my last whip is the Vogels, which is a favorite by uh, me and a lot of you. This is a pattern uh, which is designed by Joke Trebbe de Nijs, which is the LNS owner from Bordeaux Paradise in the Netherlands. She designed this. This is a bird mandala. And yeah, I yeah, really love this. I this was this was my one new start after Stitch Mania. And yeah, I'm uh, stitching this one in um, hand dyed silks from our LNS. And I substituted the pink purple into uh, blue because blue is my color. So, and Angie, hibernation stitcher, when I finish this one, it will come your way. I don't know when, but it will come your way. Um, here's the picture before. And this is where I'm at now. I finished um, the first quarter of the circle. Uh, no, not really. Uh, the first two circles of three circles. And I wanted to make sure, I want to make sure uh, it all fits together. It, it meets each other. So. Next time I will be working on this one, I will start on the second page in the middle. So and working my way back to the second circle and so on and so on. So I know everything fits, but I am so loving this. Look at that colors. The colors are deep water, which is the dark blue. And the green is pine green and the light blue is 
at the top of my head. Um, seawater and the yellow is the straw and um, the gray it's, it's a multi-shaded gray and these are silks and they are wonderful to work with so yeah can't wait to see the ends meet then uh, because my plans are to hashtag no starts 2019 but not as strict as stitchy mom uh, is going to do it i'm going to try to not start anything in 2019 uh, except for the fact when i finish something when i finish a whip i am allowed to start something so and i'm contemplating on a new year's new start but maybe not i'm not sure what are your opinions let me know in the comments below if um, if I should start something on the 1st of January or keep my end of the bargain and not start anything uh, until I finish something not sure but because that's my plan I want to start all the things before the end of December so <laughs> this is Prairie Schooler Village Green, which is not uh, the cardstock version. This is a reprint and um, I'm stitching the bottom one because I loved it. And I started it last Sunday, which was the 25th of November. I'm stitching this on... Um, 30, no, 36 count uh, fog by Picture This Plus, which I bought at Handwerk Boutique. And this is my little start on it. I really love this fabric. I hope you can see it. Yeah, a little bit. Um, this is my start on it. It's. Hold on. I started the part of the church with a flower pot next to it and yeah I'm working this one um, 1 over 2 on 36 count fog yeah really enjoy it and it doesn't show up like I wanted it to but you will have to do with it and I have a, another start planned for Christmas and then I think we're done starting things because then I have 25 whips by then. And I think that's a nice number to start 2019 with. Um, another part of my plan. I will have to open this up. As you all know, I have been working on... Um, because I can't seem to make up my mind. I have been working on... I'm sorry for the crinkles. I have been working on Snow White by the Primitive Hair, which is one of my whips. And part of the dress called for cinders, uh, gentle art threads. And I substituted this with this browny reddish um, Victorian motto, which is wine cellar. But then I heard on Stitchmania that cinders isn't actually uh, meant to be brown. It's meant to be black with a tint of red. And as I mentioned before uh, my earlier video, I don't think I like this on this fabric. So I'm taking this brown reddish part out and I'm substituting it with DMC 115 which is a variegated red 
and it has very dark reds in it. I hope it picks up on the camera. I don't know. It has some very dark bits in it, so I hope this will look better with the gray and the black. I think so, because I don't like the brown part. So that's my plan. I'm going to take it out. And my next plan also involves a whip of mine. I started my Mill Hill Holiday Greetings um, some time ago. And I started it on the perforated paper, which was in the kit. But um, I'm going to take it out. Because I want to finish it into a ornament of some kind and I don't have a lot of finishing ideas on this perforated paper because it's a little bit too big and I don't want to buy another frame. So yeah, this is what I had so far. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to use this natural even weave for it and I hope to enjoy this a little bit more so those were my plans and my whips and uh, yeah I have only one thing left I um, received my last uh, part of the farmhouse Christmas series which is Baba Black Sheep and yeah love it and we will see when I stitch that one I think I'm finished I don't have a lot to mention this time so it's really going to be a short one um, I'm going to try to be back in two weeks uh, as things have gone a little bit calmer here and I have a lot of more, a lot more time without uh, people around me. So <laughs> I'm going to be back hopefully, hopefully in uh, two weeks. And yeah, we will see. I have something else to say, but I can't say it yet. So I'm going to save it for the next video. Um, yeah. I think that's that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. I really love it when you do that. And I love the comments. I will try and comment back. Uh, each and every one of you. And if you have questions, uh, leave it in the comments. And if you don't want to leave it in the comments, I will link my email address in the description bar. And you can email me. So, thank you for now and I will be get back getting back to you in a week or two thank you for watching bye for now